Hello friends, welcome to the 7 tutorial of auto layout series and now we will start the basic sign up login page where we will use the auto layout to the fullest and we will try to make the UI as smooth uh, as possible uh, that fits in every dimension of iPhone iPad. Uh, so first of all just uh, you know a quick revision of what we did in last tutorial we did the label part where we changed the uh, font size and the type of the font according to the various size classes. Now moving further. Uh, let's delete this label and now just uh, <clears throat> take an image view and this will be now our login screen so I don't have you know any images related to login so I'm going to take a custom image uh, I do have some of the images with me uh, uh, I have this cat image and I will put this cat image here copy items if needed okay fine and uh, on dot jpg okay and we will see accordingly in every device is this uh, this auto layout is maintained so let's uh, add the other devices to the 3.5 the 4 inch and the 4.7 inch okay <coughs> so sorry uh, let's make this as expect fit and uh, let's uh, lock the width and the height of this and uh, let's uh, give a top layout guide and let's make it center horizontally so it's now in the middle of the screen uh, let's make it a bit down and I'm going to the constraints here <coughs> okay fine now take two UI text fields one and the other and uh, we just want this UI text field uh, to cover all the screen width part uh, till the margin in all the devices uh, let's make it uh, this one so that you can recognize that in the scenario so how we will do that we will select the UI text field here and we'll give a 16 uh, leading 16 trailing here and we will give a vertical spacing from this image view and uh, since since uh, there is no text there and it's assuming that you can have the code is assuming that you can have a UI text field with this uh, this height too but we want the text field with a minimum of this height so we can lock the height and it will not give any kind of error basically the text field decides itself according to the size of the font if the font size is big it will scale accordingly similarly what we can do we can have a vertical spacing here we can have a, a left here and uh, we can have a right here and we can lock the width lock the height sorry so you can see in the different uh, iPhones and uh, the iPads this is uh, maintained the UI text field is maintained uh, easily now let's take uh, even in the iPad now let's take a UI button just uh, give a background color to so pink sorry uh, I just given the tint color uh, you can choose the background color and just make the tint as white yeah so let's say this is our login button Lock in, and uh, we're going to uh, center this. How will center this? Just uh, click on image view and uh, give the center with that image view. Okay, then lock the width of the button and give the vertical spacing from the text field. So we can see that the button is now uh, underneath the text field with the vertically space of 22 and 
it's in the center with respect to this image view so so far so good in every uh, iPhone and iPad this is going fine uh, we can have let's uh, let's take two more uh, views let's take two more views or uh, not views exactly let's take label where yeah, it's I like written forgot password or something like that forgot password <coughs> perfect so let's make the center with this button uh, of the forgot password and also give the vertical spacing along with this button so this forgot password is now underneath the button now if we rotate the device too this is perfectly managed uh, you can see uh, but in case of iPhone 4 uh, iPhone 3.5 inch you can see that this uh, the, the forgot password label is you know gone so uh, we can have a table or we can have a scroll here just in case if there are too many elements in the in the login page so we can have these things too but uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, better practice what you can do uh, you can have uh, some kind of different uh, design in case of landscape or in uh, or you can have this uh, vertical spacing check uh, delete it from the label and give a bottom space layout let's say the bottom space layout should be uh, like this so this forgot password button is always at the bottom of the screen and when you rotate it in the uh, in any of the iPhones so this will be remain in the bottom of the screen so basically the landscape mode uh, provide us a, a kind of uh, uh, less height and that's why we uh, when we are using the fixed height and width so we are unable to make the landscape uh, managed properly so we need something else and we can have some kind of different design in case of landscape where we can uh, just uh, you know uh, give this uh, image view a little bit up uh, and we can make some uh, changes so that uh, this the, the the UI completely fits into landscape so let's forget about the landscape mode just uh, focusing on the portrait mode type uh, what happens so uh, in every iPhone the view is fixed now you can have a look for every iPhone this is the 3.5 inch perfect view this is the 4.4 uh, inch sorry this is the 5.5 inch the iPad and uh, this is the 4.7 inch so these are the dimensions of the iPhone and where we uh, have a perfect uh, perfectly layout or layout so uh, I think uh, we can have uh, uh, more designs with the help of auto layout and it will it will really help in tweaking our logic and in uh, you can say that in uh, fixing the UI in every dimension you can have different uh, uh, UI login pages with the relation with auto layout let's take a label and uh, uh, let's put it here sign up just below the login and just give a vertical spacing and center with this login so this is also managed in all the devices of the iPhone and even on the iPad so you can have different auto layout structures and you can uh, whatever you want you can have a design of that so there are many ways and there are many many queries so uh, I think we have learned a lot about the auto layout series and uh, uh, I think you might have uh, gained some of the knowledge with the auto layout and the for especially for the new beginners uh, who just started the auto layout uh, so that they can uh, you know just uh, get the hands on uh, quickly with the auto layout I just made the tutorial for them and I think it, it will be quite helpful for them too so yeah uh, if any queries or any suggestions or any ui is suggested to make the auto layout you can uh, post it as a comment or you can email me or any kind of tutorial you want to see i will try uh, to make it uh, for you if possible 
uh, this so basically this marks the end of the auto layout series and i hope you enjoyed the auto layout part 2 uh, so thank you thank you so much for watching and if any kind of suggestions or any kind of uh, uh, queries are there please please uh, uh, post it as a comment thank you thank you so much